Hello everyone! Alright, I am ready to make my first meal with my new Heritage The Rock One Pot, which Starfruit graciously sent to me. So I'm going to make one of the recipes in their cookbook that's included with the pot. And I'm going to be making the Mexican rice casserole with meatballs. And I'm just going to tell you what it calls for. It calls for... Um, it, there's a recipe for homemade pork meatballs, but I'm using my meatless meatballs from Gardein. Plant-based protein right there. It also calls for some kidney beans. Let me just move the camera over for you. I'll show you everything I've got here. Okay, so it calls for tomatoes. You're going to dice those. Uh, some chili powder. I don't quite have what it fully calls for, but I have some chipotle powder, and I also have chili flakes, so I'll probably just improvise and add that. Calls for some canned or fresh corn, canned or frozen corn, sorry. You can use veggie or chicken stock, and I, of course, am using veggie stock. I've got some organic veggie stock right here, and my daughter hates red bell pepper. She does not want me to make it with red bell pepper, so I'm going to put an onion in here, because this seems like something that would be great with onion. And it also calls for white rice, some olive oil, and uh, basically a little bit of salt, pepper to taste. And I'm going to get started. But first, let me just tell you a little bit more about the pan. I've washed it. It says before use, you should wash it in warm, soapy water with a soft cloth, cloth or sponge, which I did, and let it dry completely, which I've done. And it does say it's recommended to use a teaspoon of oil, so I'm sure that's why the olive oil is included in that. Never heat an empty cooking utensil. Make sure there's oil, butter, or liquid in there. And always use a low to medium heat setting. You should never use it on maximum heat. I did see someone who either had used their pan, not the same one, but like a, the, the frying pan, and maybe this is why, but he says his kind of warped. So that's good to know. Never use any sharp utensils in there. I'm not going to do that. And it says add salt to the water only after it's come to a boil because the salt grain deposit on the cookware can attack the, the metal uh, as the heat melts down. Don't use metal scouring pads and never put cold water into a hot cooking utensil. Let it cool down on its own before you put lukewarm soapy water in there. And if you're using a ceramic stove top, don't drag the pan across, lift it. And it's safe up to 450 without the lid in the oven. And with the lid, it's safe up to 350. And anyway, it's got use oven mitts. So you'll have this if you buy the pan, but those are just some of the general things I want to say about it. And I'm going to get started. I'm going to cut up the tomatoes and get my stuff prepared, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm ready to get started. And the first thing it says to do is sear your meatballs in olive oil. So I've put the olive oil into the pan and medium heat. Now these were frozen, so they might be a little on the soft side, but that's okay. So you, you're going to sear your meatballs. And once they're seared, you're going to add the rest of your ingredients. So, starting that, I'll be back. Okay, so I have browned my meatballs. And now it says to add your tomatoes, corn, kidney beans. I think I'll first put the onions in here. Remember, I'm putting onions instead of bell peppers. Add your tomatoes. That's one and a half cups of fresh tomatoes right there. One and a quarter cups of corn. And this was canned, not frozen, but you can use frozen. So the cor tomatoes, corn, kidney beans, oh, gotta get that. And the rice, okay, and the broth. So here's the kidney beans, and that's three quarter cups of red kidney beans. And it calls for half a cup of uh, long grain white rice. So I've washed this. And I put that in there. I just give that a little stir. And now I'm going to add the broth. And I'm putting one cup 
of my organic veggie broth. Okay, so that's one cup. Okay, I'm giving it uh, a stir, as it says to do. And then you're going to add salt to taste. So I'm just... Salt, the chili pepper, chili powder, and I have, oh, this is probably a teaspoon. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. That's like a, a teaspoon at most. But I do have some chili flakes. So I'll just sprinkle some chili flakes on there as well. Okay. I'm going to give it another stir. And this says it should cook for about 25 minutes. I'm going to cover the pan and cook. Oh, it says cover and bring to a boil and then adjust to medium heat. So I'm going to cover that. I'll bring it to a boil and then I'll lower. Okay, so I brought the pan to a boil and that took just about a few minutes and I'm just giving it a stir here and I'm going to lower the heat to low medium as it says to do and then it will cook for about 15 minutes until it's ready. All right, guys, this has been a good 15 minutes that it has been cooking on low medium. And this is what it looks like. And I just tested it and the rice is soft. So this is ready. One pot, easy to make. And um, let me just get a spoon and taste a bigger, well, I've got a fork right here. I'll just taste a bit more of this. You can add more seasoning to taste. I probably could add a little more salt. Let me give you guys a closer look. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Pretty good, huh? And there's this forkful I have. Let me just taste. Flavorful, delicious recipe, easy to make. It's got the heat from the chili pepper, and I added a bit of the chili flakes since I was low on chili pepper. Um, and you can just add salt to taste if you want on top of this, like you don't have to add it in the dish. It's got the nice sweetness from the corn, the pepper. And really guys, this was, this was easy. So I'm just going to um, share this and with my family now, and um, Maybe the last thing I'll do is come back and see how easy this cleans. Okay, here is the one pot after it's been used. It sat here for a while, cooled down. I took out the remainder of the meal that we didn't eat. I'm just going to pour some warm water into the pan. It's just lukewarm. I just want to get an idea. This is the soft side. <laughs> I'm not using the scrubby side. I just want to see... Okay, it's not too bad. It's coming up uh, fairly easily. And certainly, if you let it sit for a couple minutes, I'm sure it will come up fine. Now, hold on. I'm just going to dump this out. I'll be right back. Actually, I won't stop the camera. I'll just show you guys. Okay, so there you go. You can see it uh, came out fairly easily. A little bit of water and that's wiping nice and clean and I will do a better cleaning obviously but just wanted to see how well does it wipe out any residue and it's done a very good job okay guys that's my first test with this pan awesome um, result 
cooked that meal very well. It was delicious. And I'll try something else. Let me know what you want me to try. I think I definitely want to try the brownie. Why not? And um, something else. Let me know what you think. Uh, otherwise, I'll just pick something. But thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, hit me up with any questions you have or comments in the comment section. And my daughter asked if she could have the leftovers of this Mexican rice when she came home from school today. So that tells you this was a hit recipe. All right, guys, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and tune in for the next video that I make with the Heritage The Rock One Pot. Thanks for watching.